At the SDEF Women's and Pediatric Dermatology Seminar, Dr. Sheila Friedlander answered the most frequently asked questions about vitamin D. Should everyone get supplements? Everyone seems to think it's a good idea. So when you look at the Institute of Medicine's advice, if you look at the American Board of Dermatology, most groups feel it's a good idea. They don't make it absolute. So if someone is living on salmon and drinking a gallon of milk a day that's fortified, they probably don't need it. But the sense is it's probably a good idea for everyone to be supplemented. Some people say, well, just eat a lot of vitamin D rich, rich foods, and that's a way of supplementing yourself. But in fact, that would take too much salmon for most of us and too much in the way of shiitake mushrooms. Those are two things that have very high vitamin D levels. So what do we do instead? We use vitamin D supplements and most people feel that vitamin D3 is better absorbed and has a longer shelf life. So most people will recommend that you supplement with vitamin D3. It's a case of a little, not enough. Some is good and a lot more could be bad. Unfortunately, initially people thought that there was lots of evidence for vitamin D to be supportive and protective for cardiovascular disease, for multiple sclerosis, for many forms of cancer, including pancreatic, breast cancer, perhaps even malignant melanoma. The problem is that there are conflicting studies. None of the studies are perfectly precise, perfectly conclusive, except for bone health. We know absolutely that vitamin D is crucial for good bone health. But for these other issues, you know, multiple sclerosis, cancer, etc., there are some studies that show that if you get in the higher levels of serum vitamin D, there's actually an increased risk of problem. There's a precursor to vitamin D in the skin, which is converted in the presence of sunlight. The problem is that the same spectrum of the sun that leads to that conversion for vitamin D also leads to sun damage and sunburn. So if you tell kids to go out in the sun for that reason, you're also putting them at risk for sunburn and skin damage. And it is known that sunlight's a carcinogen. So that is not the recommendation of the American Board of Derm or the American Board of Pediatrics. The recommendation is you never tell patients to go out into sunlight to get their vitamin D. Now we'll all get a little bit of vitamin D production from incidental or incident sunlight, even if we use sunscreen, you're still going to get a little bit. But you shouldn't think of that as the way to boost your vitamin D levels. I'm Sherry Boshert reporting for Global Medical News Network. 